Hey everybody, Nate here from WASD20. Today I've got a little video on the go. I am uh, driving home from work. I'm here in the parking lot and heading out for the weekend. But <clears throat> something on my mind, hoping to do more of these kind of videos on the go. Just when something is on my mind, um, just turn on the phone and talk for a bit. Need to get a one of those uh, dashboard mounts thing so I can do this more safely. But anyway, <clears throat> what's on my mind today is uh, RPG books. Uh, what's the right amount? I've, I've uh, read some posts on Reddit and such that uh, had basically expressed the thoughts about D&D 5th edition that there was, they haven't been supporting it well enough, that there haven't been enough books uh, coming out for it and that they, they need to get on it better. That they, Wizards has cut back too much and uh, on, on their staff and such and just isn't producing like they used to and I uh, read that and it's just like no I totally can't relate to that in fact I'm the opposite and so I, I, I really think like you know too many books can water uh, water down a game that's my impression um, and that it it can kind of I don't know sour things for for fans who are trying to keep up with everything, um, and, and and I guess the quality of, of the books is another thing that um, you know yeah they they just go downhill and they're they're grasping for too much and reaching reaching too far maybe, um, and you know I I don't have a ton of experience with D and D I. Fifth edition is my first edition of D&D. And before that, I played a little Pathfinder, just a little bit. And certainly when I came into the hobby um, last summer and saw all the books that were available for Pathfinder and all the products, it was just overwhelming. And immediately I had a negative reaction. Just my gut reaction was like, oh, that's sickening. Like, the, what are these money-hungry punks trying to do? Like, uh, this is exploitation. But um, I guess the point is, uh, people like those books, and with D&D 5th Edition, I am totally satisfied with what they've come out with so far. Um, yeah, I think there could be some, some more cool stuff they could do, you know, some um, setting stuff and other things. And I, I guess, you know, that, that's part of it too, is, you know, you can put out a book on Forgotten Realms or Greyhawk, but um, really the books from previous editions on those settings are still appropriate and very usable today. Um, yeah, there are minor things, you know, rules, things they could do specific to those settings for sure um, that I, I think people are hungry for. Uh, and they've had some of that. They had one of those, uh, one of the setting things come out. I can't remember which one right now, but um, they released for free. So yeah, I'm very satisfied with what's come out so far. I don't feel the need for, uh, for more stuff and um, I don't really get that impulse of, of people that, that want more. So what's the difference? I guess the difference is for me, I, I tend to stick to um, the core races a little more. I don't like all the, the glitz and the, the unique races and all this. Uh, I, don't, I don't go for that as much and I, I don't need as many options. The joy of the game for me is uh, in the variety, variety is important, um, is in the different settings a DM creates and in the story. And that's, that's the big thing for me. Uh, the, you know, the mechanics, yeah, they're, they're cool. And I, I like some crunch, obviously. Um, I, my son likes, uh, I play hero kids with him sometimes, which I'm probably gonna do a video on sometime soon. And definitely it kind of leaves me wanting, you know, there's no, no skills really. There's, um, yeah, it's, and it's just, it's made for kids. And it, so it's simple, it's good system. I think it really is. But it definitely leaves me wanting, and I would much rather play something like uh, Fifth Edition or even Pathfinder than Hero Kids if it were all adults. So, um, yeah, the part of the difference might be that, that my emphasis is on uh, story, and I don't need all the crunch. I don't need tons of options for classes and multi-classing and you know different feats and spells and all this. I feel like the the core of uh, D and D Fifth Edition provides a pretty pretty good foundation on which to run. Uh, great games for years just on um, the the three core books or really even just the player's handbook is all you need right so yeah I think that's part of the difference is just um, some people like like that stuff more and, and Pathfinder is perfect for those people I think that's been talked about a lot is that um, 
Pathfinder is good for those people. I, I do like Pathfinder. I don't think it's a terrible system. Um, I just have played 5th edition now, and I prefer it um, for sure and for its simplicity and, and a lot of other things. But as the 5th edition books come out, you know, I might I might have that negative gut reaction that's like, oh, no, what are they doing? They're, tr they're watering it down when really um, I think they're just giving people more options. Why can't I just ignore the books and not buy them and be satisfied? So I, I think part of it is kind of childish on my part. Yes, I am childish. Um, it's that feeling that like, oh, I had it all, but now they're putting out more stuff and I don't want to buy it all and now I'm going to be left behind or something like that. It's just that kind of feeling, almost like with a DLC in a video game a little bit. It's maybe not quite as gross where you feel like, you know, oh, now they're putting this out and it kind of waters down what I had. Did I enjoy the core game? Yes. For some reason, it feels crappy when the, uh, when the DLC comes out and you're like, oh, now were they holding back certain things, right? Um, but I don't feel that way with a lot of RPGs. I think they they put out good stuff in the core books, and it is really all you need. Um, I got this really loud car in front of me, <laughs> um, and this guy is swerving. Look at this. Come on, what are you doing, buddy? All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think uh, I'm getting getting awfully long-winded here. But I think part of it is I just need to learn to ignore the books. But part of it is legitimate. Let me give you an example. I think that um, you know when if, if I wanted to run a game at a game shop, or if I wanted to run a game online, even in the one shot group or something like that, I think that uh, I don't like the feeling of, of limiting my players, and yet I don't want to include all this other stuff. I don't want to have a party full of bird people, and you know that's just my taste, um, and it might be. You know, maybe I just have to deal with it and say, yeah, it's okay to limit players, and players can still have a lot of choice uh, of, of, in the core core races and core classes. Uh, but it's, yeah, when when a player asks, oh, can I do this? Can I do this? Um, I almost feel obligated to like say, yeah, it's it's within the rules, so I guess. When really I should be able to um, say, nope, we're sticking to the core here. Sorry, deal with it. And if you don't like it. You know, go find another game. Um, yeah, I don't know. Or maybe I should just accept it. Um, yeah, something I got to kind of feel out as more and more stuff is going to be coming out. You know, we already have the, uh, the uh, what is it, Temple of Elemental Evil or whatever they're calling it now, Princes of the Apocalypse Adventure Path, um, which, uh, you know, is is bringing out more stuff. The, the companion along with that brought out more stuff. And I guess I have to be okay with saying, nope, not, not for my game. Um, or allow it. Again, stuff I have to feel out. But I guess my, my question for uh, you all out there is, you know, what's the right number of books? Um, what's the right level of support for a system that, that's good for you? Um, do you want just a core book and that's it? Or do you like them to put out, you know, a few books a year? Um, you know, a few hardcover books a year? Uh, what's, what's your taste? Um, for me, for my taste, I guess it totally depends on the books, and I, I think that's probably true of most of you too. What type of books? So I guess what type of books do you want to see more of from Wizards of the Coast or from other companies, um, Paizo or or um, you know other minor um, smaller publishers? Um, what sorts of books and what sorts of what sort of support for a product line is ideal? Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear from you. I feel like Wizards of the Coast is doing a pretty good job of um, kind of holding back. I think they're intentionally doing that in some ways, holding back. Uh, so that you know, we, pe fans don't get turned off by all the stuff that you could possibly buy. My impression, and I don't have experience with previous editions, is that fifth edition is um, holding back more than they have for previous editions of D&D. So, yeah. Anyway, I've rambled enough. This has been a little video on the go, and I'd love to hear from you. I hope to do more of these uh, videos in the, in the near future as. Uh, as things come across the mind. All right, peace out everybody, see you soon.